Hi, I'm UHG Designs, and uh, this is my full review of the LU Centauri Carbon. The printer came out about two weeks ago, and the ones that they sent out before that were review models, meaning they could have changed some things for the review models, which I doubt they did. Um, however, I was one of the first to get one that isn't a review model, and I paid full price for this. So this is my completely unbiased review. I've never had an LU printer. I have no, like, no subscribers. Um, so this is a 100% honest review of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. So the first thing you're going to notice on the store page of Elegoo um, is the price. The printer's price is insane. This printer costs $300, and there's a cheaper version for $200. So um, I was very surprised. I was hyped for this printer even before it came out. I was saved up $500 for it, and it ended up being $300. So... It was insane, and I am so glad because this printer is amazing. Unboxing was like a breeze. You just take out a few cardboard pieces, snip some stuff. For me, it was difficult because I had to do it with one hand while recording with the other. Um, and right out of the box, it printed. They give you a little bit of filament. I kind of, I'm sad that they don't give you like a whole spool. However, Elegoo filament is cheap, so. Most reviews just throw numbers at you, like 600 millimeters a second speed or like the acceleration. However, um, I don't really care. Um, it's hard to visualize speed. So um, I printed a Benchy on both this and my Prusa Mark IV. Uh, the speed was very similar. The Prusa Mark IV beat it with the Elegoo doing leveling, which you don't need and takes about 10 minutes extra. So, um, what I assume most people want this printer for is getting into high-end materials with a relatively low price point, which, if you want that, this is the printer for you. I have um, printed ABS, PETG, and PLA. They all come out perfectly every time, and it is a beautiful user experience. What you might also want this printer for is Core XY and its enclosure, which both work perfectly. The enclosure nothing like gets out. I can't smell ABS when I'm printing and the Core XY makes it fast as we discussed earlier. Can this do everything Bamboo Labs can? Um, obviously no. There's no multicolor system or um, the camera, the lighting. It's okay, but um, no, of course not. This is a $300 machine. Bamboo Labs film cost so much more than this does. However, for the price point, it is perfect. I don't even, like, I have barely any issues with it. It's loud. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, there's no uh, phone app or website so you can check if your print is done yet. But that could be added with software, and I hope it is because that'd be amazing. They're actually working on a multicolor system for the, for the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. It is such a good printer. Now, if you're skeptical, so was I. Not really at all, I was just excited. But um, the fact that this costs as much as some other bed slingers that aren't as good is insane. This is amazing because this is a shift from bed slingers to Core XY and a shift from, you know, expensive Core XY machines to cheaper ones, which, like, my Prusa Mark IV is the most expensive printer I own. It's about $1,000. And this printer, is $300, and they aren't quite on the same level, but this one's really good. It's insane, and I love that Elegoo is testing the markets for this and, like, innovating in the way that they are. Now, there are a few flaws. Most of them are fixable. Uh, the light is really bad. Uh, as you can see, you can't really see in the printer right now. It's completely dark. Um, the next thing that I would say is just uh, connectivity. It connects to your computer just fine, but if you want to view your print on your phone, it's like pause, view the camera, you can't do that yet. Um, I think, I hope that this is going to be added. I did uh, reach out to Elegoo and ask, and they said that they would forward it to research and development, which probably means no, but it'd be cool if this printer came out in between a bunch of Core XY printers. We have the... Um, Anycubic Cobra S1. We have the new Flash Forge. I forget what it's called. We have the Prusa Core one and the Bamboo Lab H2D. I think this printer is like, they all are tackling different markets. 
uh, any cubic made their AMS system a lot better. Uh, Prusa is basically making it a reliable printer instead of like a all everything printer. Flashforge is making theirs accessible multicolor. Um, the printer I think automatically comes with the multicolor and it's up to four colors and it works with flexible filaments. Overall, really, really good. But this printer I think just shines in the way that none of those do and the price point for it. Uh, $300 or $200 if you don't want all these features is, is insane. Um, I love it and I had never used any machines except my Prusa and my Bamboo Lab H A1 Mini. And this printer just blew me away. If you want to get into 3D printing, but you want a good high-end machine, you don't just want to get a cheap, like, one-off machine that you'll replace later down the line, get this printer. Um, it will be good now, and it'll be good when you start doing advanced stuff. I started out printing junk, and now I make fun projects. However, let's address the elephant in the room. This was released two weeks, about, before the Bamboo Lab H2D printer, which is basically an all-in-one printer. Um, these aren't new. Um, Snapmaker has made an all-in-one printer, but theirs is also really expensive. However, I have mixed feelings about the H2D. I think it's a very cool idea, but the practicality of it's just not there. I don't think, I'm personally not gonna buy it because I don't have enough money and I don't need a, I can, I have this printer I can buy a laser engraver. Um, if I want a big printer to print multicolor, I'm just going to get a Prusa um, XL. It's bigger, less waste, more filaments. Well, kind of. However, and it's actually the same price as the full H2D. Um, but I think there is a market for it. There's a market for everything. Uh, Bamboo Lab started with their most or second most expensive printer. Um, the X1, and then they made a cheaper printer, and then a cheaper printer, and now they've kind of gone back to their big printer, and I think it's a cool idea, like a big printer that can um, laser engrave and laser cut is an insanely good idea. However, there are problems. Um, one user that I saw said that it would be stupid to put a laser engraver or cutter inside of a 3d printer because that creates a lot of dust and for a 3d printer you want a dust free environment and i think that's a great point it would be really weird to start printing something right after like cutting into some acrylic because then there'd be like dust and everything everywhere um i think it's cool but i just don't think it's practical enough if you want a big printer you can get a you can get the Prusa Mark the Prusa XL, or I think Creality the uh, K two Max or whatever is also a really good idea because it's almost the same size. I think Prusa XL is bigger, um, with less of the price and just less of the abilities. So I would also like to know what they're planning on doing for the future. I know a multicolor system is planned, but I don't know if they're planning on making a phone app because that is my most wanted thing. Um, or a at least a website that I can view um, the printer from. That would just, it'd be so cool. Um, I'm also anxious to see what they do in the future because um, this is so far, I think their best selling printer or it's going to be because um, currently if you buy it right now, you'll probably get it at the beginning of August, which is insane. But I don't fully believe that. Mine said, like, I think April, and it came, like, a week after we ordered it. So um, I don't entirely trust that. I think it'll definitely be a month or two, but I don't know if it's that long. I also did order an accessory kit. Um, you know, the extra plates, the non-vibration fee, um, some filament, I think, and uh, glue, other stuff, a new nozzle. But I... Um, it hasn't been shipped yet because those things ship separately from the printer. However, I did miss one major problem. There are no replacement parts out yet. Um, many people have, uh, not many, some people have had their printers shipped with a broken door. That's, that's really bad. And um, there's no way to really get it fixed. Uncle Jesse 
has created a conversion kit where you can use um, a spare Bamboo Lab door, but um, the nozzle or the uh, print head, nothing for it yet. And if you do break the nozzle or the whole extruder assembly, you can't get a new one because they're so far pushed back. Pushed back so far. I said that wrong. That It's a major issue, and I think um, that it'll get solved, and I don't really worry about it much. This is a super reliable machine. But if your printer does break, you're kind of like out of luck for a really long time. Um, I think that they weren't expecting this to be such a big hit. So they weren't exactly ready for this much publicity and this many orders. So um, I bet, like, I bet they'll get it under control soon. If you order right now, I don't think that it'll come early August, like the entire summer. But um, I think they're going to figure it out. Um, and I hope that they do, because I want more people to have this printer. This printer is so cool, and I want more people to make, like, upgrade parts for it that I can print. Or um, to talk about with this printer. I think it is, so far, the coolest printer of 2025. The uh, BH2D, the Core 1, uh, the Cobra S1, they don't really compare because none of them really like innovated. I think Bamboo Lab did with their dual nozzle. However, that's an insane price point. And from what I've seen, it doesn't even work that well. I have seen that um, the print quality... It's not great. Um, however, I am excited to see as they improve upon it. Overall, I think this printer is incredible. And if you want a good, cheap uh, $300 machine that can print tons of materials, I would absolutely recommend it.